Welcome back to Relatable. We are now ready to take the video we've recorded and upload it to where I go for free hosting and very easy access, and that is YouTube Unlisted. I'm not going to upload it for a public viewing on my YouTube account. I'm going to unlist it, and I'll show you a couple of reasons why. The number one reason is because once we present this video using YouTube as unlisted uh, hosting, um, there will not be any additional videos suggested at the end of our video when we host it as unlisted. And secondly, it's free. I don't have to go pay for any of the other hosting services. And uh, we definitely don't want to add cost to your business. Uh, we want to make it as easy to implement and use this tool as possible. All right, so let me uh, get in here and show you exactly what that looks like. First thing I'm gonna do is show you on my phone. Okay, so you see my YouTube channel. This is the YouTube channel where I save uh, my videos and use them for hosting. So I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna hit this plus button. And instead of actually uh, creating a video, a short, I'm gonna go to upload a video. And as you can see, here is that video that we used before. And there it is. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go to next. So I'm gonna give it a title, uh, test video. I'm gonna make it unlisted. I'm gonna say, it, no, it's not made for kids. And now that's it. Uh, I don't need anything else. Uh, you can either add a thumbnail right here in YouTube or I'll show you in Relatable, you can add a thumbnail there. All right, so now it's uploading that video. Okay, I need that uh, actual, I need that link, that URL. So I'm going to come down here in the bottom right corner and click library. And my videos, as you can see, one is uploading. There it is. Uh, it's uploaded. I need the link for that. I'm going to click share video and I'm going to copy the link. That's what I need. Okay. So that's all I need from here in my YouTube account. Now I'm going to come over here in relatable. There it is. And I see my bullet points still beeping at me. And so I'm going to come up here to videos and styles. There we go. And I'm going to paste a new one. So there's my video. Uh, I have the title there. I can make the title visible or not. I can make the description visible or not. Uh, so I'm going to leave that because the title is going to come in so that you can play with that and do whatever you like. Okay. Here is where I can add a thumbnail. As you can see on the screen, I can add Google Analytics. Now I'm going to continue, as you can see, to set up branding. Uh, I'm going to import a palette. Okay. So there's my color palette. And I can choose fonts. Uh, let's do Robo. Roboto, there we go. And that's fine. I'm going to click Save. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, since I created that, I'm going to use this palette. So I'm going to put the green for the play button. Let's make that bottom text white. And this text purple. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go to the question boxes. And so I'm going to do white for the question box. Those two are done. I'm going to do purple for the actual question itself and white for the text. And now I've got the same thing for these buttons and make white for the text. All right. And now I click continue. Now I'm going to set up the pop-ups. Okay. So here is the fun part. What's going to happen is I can change the starting point because you saw all that five second stuff and everything else. Well, let me, let me start this. And you'll hear. Okay, so now I can see. I'm going to hit this little plus button and I'm going to move the start to that place. So now we can also see down here this, this little white, this big white button. I can use that to move quickly throughout the video or I can just put my finger over here in this gray area. That's where my finger is in this uh, gray area here. And I can move the, the scrubber, let's call it, um, slowly. So whichever I want. And you can see here, we have, um, there's our sign up button. 
uh, automatically opt-in button is there. Well, I don't want an opt-in for this one, but if I did, I could then redirect it wherever I wanted it to go. Let's say you're going, you're taking, you're giving people a quick video to tell them about your challenge or your your webinar or anything like that. You can actually uh, put the opt-in here and collect all that data here, and, or you can do it, have it a double opt-in. You can have it uh, as the option if you're going to do a VSL, a video sales a letter or page, you can have the opt-in on that page and you can also have the opt-in on the video. So you can actually split test which do people prefer to opt-in on, the page or the video, right? Or maybe this gives you additional opt-ins from the video that you maybe wouldn't have gotten on the page. You can use this to split test anything you like. But in the meantime, I'm going to disable that so you can see it grayed out now. Um, and I believe I put in here a question. Are you ready to make your videos in there? Okay, so that's where I did the one, 1,000, two, 1,000. Are you ready to make your videos interactive? So I'm going to take the question that was already in here. See, so I have a sample question and I'm going to move it to this place. Okay, so I'm going to edit this question and I can make this anything I like. I can make it a single choice question. I can put chapters in here. I can put in home menu. I can do a touchable. It's an icon or emoji or a button or an image. I can add a phone number input. So if you want to collect phone numbers in your opt-in, you can do that. I can do single choice, multiple choice, text input, uh, a smaller text, or at the bottom you see text input and it's a larger text, more than 160 characters. I can ask for a time, a date, a number, any of these things I can actually add as pop-ups in my um, in my video. So I'm going to put single choice. I'm going to say the question is, there we go. And then my options are, of course, yes or no, right? And once here's another one, I can choose if they answer yes, I can send them anywhere I like. I can send them to, to start over. I can continue the video, which is what I'm going to do because I gave that two second pause. I can go to an external link. Um, I can have them email me, call me, WhatsApp me, Facebook message me, text me, or they can go to any of my other videos by answering that one question. So right here, I'm just going to leave it on continue video. And then I'm going to add another option and put no. There we go. All right. Now we have yes and no, and we're good. All right. And we're done. At the end, we also gave an option. Okay. So now I can put a touchable or a, you know, redirect. So I'm going to add pop-up. Let's put a touchable in here and it's going to be a button. And I am going to pause the video when I do this. Okay. And I can, I can leave this button on the screen for five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds. Or I can actually pause the video to get you to interact with this uh, touchable. Um, and, and the video won't continue until you interact. So you can see the opportunities here are pretty, pretty incredible. Uh, I can put up a QR code and ask you to go buy a book or a button or anything while the video is continuing. You just have to remember, again, marketing best practices. If I put something up on this screen and I'm asking people to take action on it, whatever I'm talking about after this interactive pop-up, people will not see because they will act on the thing that I asked them to act on. So in this one, I'm going to pause the video. I'm not going to leave it on there for a time frame. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to ask people to actually interact. So just to make sure that it goes into the right place, um, I am going to move this and have a spacer on top and a spacer on bottom. And I'll just put a button. This is going to be a button. As you can see, there are multiple things I can do. I can do an icon, an emoji. I can create an image in Canva and put it in here. I can have a hotspot. I can put a QR code. Uh, and this one is going to be a button. And I'm going to put this button to say exactly what I said before, which is connect with me. Okay. And what do I want them to do when they connect with me? I want them to email me. And here's my email. So when they hit that button, It'll automatically open their email option that they have on their phone or their desktop, and it will put in my email credentials and they can connect with me via email. All right. So that's that. I'm going to click done. Now our video is done. That's how you do this on your, your phone. Your desktop is no different. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to view this and see what it looks like. So you're going to come, you, you saw that I hit the little uh, pencil. And it's going to get, bring up my menu. And we're going to talk about these other things later. But right now, all I care about is viewing this. So I hit view. As you can see, if I weren't on my phone, I could actually scan this QR code to watch this on my phone. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and view it right here on my phone.
Okay, so here you will see, this is where the thumbnail will pop up. So if I had the actual title, that would actually pop up on the screen, but I don't, so it just is the pulsating view button. Hey there. And it's perfect. It started right on time, exactly where I wanted it to start. So I'm gonna move this little white scrubber to make it go to where the question is. Are you ready to be relatable? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, and now we're gonna to go to the end. There it is. And now connect with me. And I can click it and it will automatically bring up new messages. There you go. How is that for an actual viewing of exactly what we just set up? And this time frame should take you, especially once you get familiar with everything I just said, it really shouldn't take you more than 15 or 20 minutes at the most to record a video and set it up and make it actually interactive, not just publish it for passive consumption. You're actually making it interactive. It is an incredible tool for you to be able to not just connect with your audience in an awareness capacity, but actually interact with them and give them an ability to interact back with you. Now, what I'll do next, again, I'm not going to go through this whole thing in uh, your desktop because it's exactly the same process. Um, what I am going to do next is show you what you can do with this in terms of viewing and sharing and especially allowing you to ask your audience to share for you at no extra cost to you. All right, so this was step uh, three and four, uploading it and making it interactive. And now we're gonna go into step five and sharing. See you soon. Okay, you can see Peter Lasoski is recording his video on his Android. You see the same five second lead up. Now he's reading his script um, and we'll let that go for just a couple seconds so you can see it's the same thing as the iPhone and desktop, no different. He's going to hit the red, uh, the red square, the stop button. He's going to wait a couple seconds. And now it's the same thing. Do you want to trash it or do you want to upload it? He says upload. It asks him if he wants to create it interactive. He said yes. Then he's going to actually go in and enter the video from the uh, setup, from the video setup. He's going to actually upload it directly to YouTube from there. You could do the same thing if you're on an iPhone. I just chose not to. Then it's going to go to his uh, photos folder on his Android. There was the photo, the most recent, and now he's uploading it to YouTube. He's doing all the things that we did on our iPhone. No, it's not for kids, et cetera, et cetera. He's going to share the video once it's done. He's going to hit share. He's going to get the share link. He's going to go over to Relatable and paste that in the same place that I did on my iPhone. And then everything else is exactly the same. There you go, Android users. Hope that helped.